Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back. Uh, in our previous class, we discussed about uh, prostitution and the effect of prostitution and homosexuality and uh, the effect of uh, homosexuality. And we say that for prostitution, this is giving a service in return of a favor or, and, or also a money, money or uh, that is. Uh, uh, you're giving a service and in return you're getting something from it. Then that is the social services. Then we have uh, homosexuality and we say that homosexuality is the sexual relation between uh, the same sex or gender. And we also look at the effect of homosexuality. So today we'll discuss about uh, incest and uh, rape and uh, also uh, bestiality. So, again, under the sexual perversion, we are saying there is also incest. So what is this incest? So incest, it is the sexual relation between close relatives. That is, in Islam, they, uh, the prohibited degree of marriage are classified or uh, prescribed in Surat Nisa. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, you are forbidden in marriage, your mothers, your daughters, your sisters, your paternal or maternal aunts, the daughters of your brothers and the sisters and the mothers who have given a sap to you, that is uh, your suckling sisters, the mothers of your wives, your step daughters who are in, the cha in your charge. Children of your wives with whom you have lain, it is no offense for you to marry your stepdaughters if you have not consummated uh, to, to your own to your marriage with their mothers. Then, and the wives of your devoted sons, helpful, you are also forbidden to take in marriage two sisters at one and the same time. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is forgiving and merciful. That is according to Surah Al Nisa, verse 21 to 23. So let's listen to these ayats. <laughs> Their relationship. 
far and wide, but there are specific order that is, it should be according to the organized manner which is specified in the Quran. So there are several reasons as to why incest, that is a relationship or sexual relationship between close relatives, is discouraged uh, or prohibited in Islam. So we say some of these reasons are as follows. One, it is a sinful and criminal act because it is prohibited in Islam. It also leads to deformities of children both because of the uh, close relation between the two duels. Then the, bo the baby born in, uh, as a result of uh, incest, then they may end up having deformities when they are uh, given birth to. So they have abnormalities that is. So it is prohibited also because of that. Then those who practice it lose dignity. So in the society, one they lose their respect in the society as a result of incest. Then it is also a practice for animals because we know that for the animals they mate with any uh, which eat with each other no matter uh, if it doesn't matter if it's uh, a mother and son or a daughter and the father, it doesn't matter, so they mix like that. So if, uh, uh, as human beings, they also uh, practice itself, it's like the way animals are practicing, so it's just like the practice for the animals. So that is all about uh, the incest. Let's look at bestiality. So what is bestiality? We say, it is a sexual intercourse between a human being and an animal. So bestiality is the, uh, the sexual intercourse between a human being and an animal or being. Then such behavior is prohibited because it debases uh, the person who practices it. It undermines the person who practices it. The prophet peace be upon him cast the person who performs sex with animals and in his hadith narrated by uh, Ibn Abbas the love and say whoever you find doing as the people of Lord's did that is homosexuality kill the one who does it and the one to whom it is done so those who practice bestiality you say should be killed and one who it is done too, that is the animal too. And if you find anyone having sexual intercourse with an animal, kill him and kill the animal. So homosexuality is prohibited and also bestiality, so the animal also uh, should be killed because of uh, this. Then this is by uh, uh, Imam Ahmed bin Hanbal and four Imams. Then why is it uh, that bestiality is prohibited or forbidden in Islam? One, it is a curse from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because it is prohibited in uh, Islam. Then it reduces the dignity of the individuals who are involved. So when one practices bestiality, it uh, undermines or reduces his respect in the society because they make human beings yet they go for the animals. Then it is a merciless act uh, to the animal. So when you do that act to the animal, you are being unfair. You are being, uh, you not, you don't have mercy to that particular animal. Then. Women will not have a husband for security. So at the end, when men go for the animals, obviously the women will not have men or husbands uh, to secure or to provide security for them. And they may end up, eventually they may end up committing other sexual perversions. We also say it's a lack of, uh, when women will indulge in sexual perversions, so lack of procreation of human rights. You know that at uh, the end of uh, the act, there won't be, uh, it won't lead to pregnancy, so there won't be uh, procreation in the process. So we won't have uh, babies that is in form of human rest. So uh, 
that is another uh, reason as to why it is forbidden. Lastly, it is an irresponsible act of the owners of the animal not to protect, uh, to protect the animals. So, as a owner, if you have your animals, make sure you protect them uh, from these uh, people, that is, the, the people who practice the same to call it use your responsibility to take care of your own belongings. So, that's uh, all about uh, incest and uh, bestiality. We'll continue, uh, in a, we'll look at rape in our next part. Start with rape.